شجرة الزقوم طعام الأثيم كالمهل يغلي في البطون كغلي الحميم خذوا فاعتلوا إلى سواء الجحيم ثم صبوا فوق رأسه من عذاب الحميم ذق إنك أنت العزيز الكريم. Also Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says about this this amazing plant that actually this tree that actually grows from Jahannam and it's a it's a it's a tree as Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu says that it is made of fire a tree made of fire that grows in from the plants of Jahannam and the, from the ground of Jahannam and it grows and it has fruits like the heads of Shaitan and it has fruits like the heads of Shaitan and it has fruits like the heads of Shaitan. One drop of the zakum were to fall on this earth, just one drop, that would destroy the whole planet of Earth. That would destroy the whole planet of Earth. That would destroy the whole planet of Earth. So imagine how destructive this zakum is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Verily this tree known as a zakum is the food of the sinners. It will be like hot oil which will burn their stomachs. Imagine eating this, imagine eating this, imagine eating this. And know that you will be made to eat because you will be so hungry that you will need to eat. And this is a form of punishment for you. That you feel pain out of hunger and that when you eat it will be more pain. This food will neither give any nourishment and it will not cure any hunger. And it will not cure any hunger. And it will not cure. The tree of Zaku, which will be the food of sinners. And it will be like boiling oil that will boil in their bellies, like the boiling of scalding water. Taste this, Allah says in the Quran. Verily, you are pretending to be the mighty, the generous. Look at those arrogant people pretending to be mighty, pretending to be generous. But taste the Z tree of Zakum that will boil in your belly. And it says they will drink a water that cuts their bowels to pieces. It is very interesting. common knowledge 1400 years ago but it is a fact that is mentioned in the Quran as a stark warning to all those people who reject faith in God. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam describes the smallest, the lowest, like the minimum punishment in the hellfire is a person standing on, on the hellfire until his brains boils. That's a minimum punishment in the hellfire. That's a minimum punishment in the hellfire. That's a minimum punishment.
There's a lot of different punishments for the people of the hellfire. It's different according to their sins. believers who believed in Allah and the oneness of Allah and believed in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they disobeyed the orders of Allah and the orders of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they'll be punished in the hellfire and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will let them enter the paradise the non-believers it's an eternal life for them in the hell, in the hell, in the hell fire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will extinguish the part of Jahannam wherein the believers and the muhaddeen had, had, you know, but the sinners amongst the believers had entered into Jahannam. That part of Jahannam will be extinguished, but the rest of Jahannam, which contains the disbelievers, will continue forever. Will continue forever for an eternity. And this is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah Al Araf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala yadkhuluna al jannata, they will never enter Jannah. Hatta yalij al jamalu fi min khiyat, until the camel goes through the eye of the needle. Until the camel goes through the eye of the needle, which is impossible. An eye, a camel can never go through the eye of the needle and this is the way of saying that definitely the disbelievers will never, never enter Jahannam, will never enter Jannah. And even if some of us or all of us have to spend even a little time in the hellfire, I don't want to spend no time there. But even if we did, I'm so happy, I'm so full of hope that I remember the words of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that Prophet Musa asked Allah, who will be the least person in the paradise? I mean the least. And Allah informed Prophet Musa والسلام, that the least person in paradise will be a person who was in hellfire, who was burnt in hellfire so much that he became totally black by the fire. And Allah would put him in the river of life. And then Allah will say to that man, Go and enter paradise. And the man will say, Oh Allah, he's filled up. Everybody took their place. There's no place for me. And Allah will say, Go into paradise. Here's a man who was in hell. And he will be the least and the last person to go to paradise. Allah will say, Go enter into it. And the man said, Oh Allah, please don't mock me. You're the Lord of the worlds. Please don't mock me. There's no room for me. And then Allah will say, go enter. And the man will enter and Allah will ask him, would you like to have a kingdom like the great kingdoms of the people or the kings of the world? He said, yes. And Allah will say, you shall have that and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, and ten times more. And this person will be the least in heaven and Allah will ask him and tell him you shall have everything that you desire and whatever you ask for you shall have and this shall be the least in paradise in paradise in paradise in paradise